everybody, this is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily focus. This is intended to be for somewhere around the 23rd of October. And this, this is just the energy for the messages of what spirit says you need to focus on. The ring's not going to resonate with everybody. We uh, take what does resonate, leave the rest behind. And it may resonate with you. If it does, it may resonate with somebody else a little bit differently. Energies could be interchangeable. Um, like, the, um, for instance, you know, I could be talking about a career situation, but the situation sounds exactly like your home life or your love, love life or whatever. So, just however resonates with you, okay? And I'm going to get a cut. I'm going to start off with an oracle card here. Get a focal focus point. I've got so many decks of cards and boxes around right now because I just started today with Aries. I started on my November readings. Okay, come on, spirit. Give me a card. Okay, we have no place like home. Okay. <laughs> as mundane as this sounds, is this is about the comforts of home, your home life. This maybe this is about possibly somebody who's been away. Um you know, maybe somebody's been traveling or if there's somebody in the military that comes home, there's just no place like home and or a hectic work week but this is all about the comforts of home okay and enjoying home um, getting away from all the hustle and bustle of daily life relaxing okay so your focus is probably on home tomorrow and we have flexible being flexible within your home life. Holy cow. This is telling me right now that somebody might be a little bit rigid. Okay. Um, that spirit speaking about your home life, being comfortable at your home, and I get the sense of somebody being all about structure. Um, having to be a little bit flexible and not yet. Yeah. It's one thing to have your boundaries and have your rules. Okay? Not that rules are meant to be broken, but being a little bit flexible in, ske flexible in schedules, being flexible, flexible in the duties around the home, Everybody working together as a team, okay? Um, not, I don't know who I'm talking to, but the home life is not supposed to be one person putting in all the work. It's about everybody working together to make it a home. You know, being flex flexible with one another. Right? To so change your routine up is what I'm being told. Change your routine up a little bit. Peace offering. White buffalo calf woman. Okay. Being... <coughs> and this elaborates a little bit more of 
somebody may have been a little bit too rigid and there may cause some conflicts in the home and I feel like somebody coming forth with a peace offering and to try to put the issue to rest whatever the issue is that spirit says there needs to be a little bit of flexibility and not making one person should not be making the other do all the work to make in the household run okay however this resonates with you this could also be about work being flexible in your schedule with work and maybe a work conflict with somebody coming with a peace offering but however it resonates with you but somebody's coming forth with a peace offering whatever the struggles and the conflicts have been there's definitely conflicts you want to come home you want to be pe be at peace in your own home and there's conflicts going on people not being flexible in their opinion or flexible in how they view things I could in my mind's eye I see the hanged man that a little bit of sacrificing someone needs to do some sacrificing and someone needs to look at things in a new perspective okay now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tarot and we will see what additional messages come up Okay, I'm looking at this flexible car being flexible and I'm seeing the bend. Someone needs to bend a little bit. Whether that's you or your partner, um, but somebody needs to bend a little bit. While this peace offering is coming, somebody needs to bend a little bit and meet the other person halfway. Okay. Okay, first card out, two cards out. We have the King of Cups and we have the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries because there's the Ram. And I just got done saying about somebody being very rigid, very strict. Um, boundary set up that somebody's not bending somebody's was not willing to bend the rules or be flexible it's their way or no way was the attitude okay and it's about this king of cups this is a fatherly figure <coughs> this is also this is somebody in authority and I feel this is head of the household okay this is the leader and I think these two people, the King of Cups and the Emperor, are one and the same. Okay, because this, the King of Cups is some is the fatherly figure who give they give them the emotional support, but they have their emotions pretty much under wrap, very much in control. They give advice. But when they give advice, they expect you to follow it. It's not like saying, it's like you don't have the option of saying, no, this is how I view it. It's like people needing to bend and compromise. He's very nurturing and loving, but I feel like a bit on the controlling side. This is the leader, head of the household, right there. That's what this reading's about. This reading is about head of the household. Okay? If you're head of the household, this is you. Okay? 
another card we have temperance balance being flexible <laughs> you know what spirits talking I can't make this up okay we have the ten of rods sorry if I'm not showing all the cards here we have ten of rods we have the ace of cups reversed mm-mm Maybe somebody was withholding their love. We have the star reversed. Somebody not listening to their inner guidance. We have the queen of swords. Oh, somebody's very cool. We definitely have a couple here. We have a king and queen. And this describes this, which is head of the household. And we have the Queen of Swords who's turned off her emotions. Three of Wands. Somebody might be looking at other options. And Ten of Cups. And the card underneath the deck is the Ace of Wands. The underall energy is growth. It is the seed that's been planted. It is an opportunity. It's an inspiration. It's creativity. Okay? And I feel like that this is saying this is a, coming up with new creative ideas to try to get this family to click. And what I'm feeling here is that this there needs to be some balance with this King of Swords. Or the, with this King of Swords. Okay. I don't know what the King of Swords is about. It's not in the reading. Uh, King of Swords is out there, uh, overbearing too. Decision, decisiveness. Even though he's heir, he kind of reminds me of the Emperor in a way. Somebody in authority. But this person in authority needs to find that middle ground needs to find that balance needs to bend a little bit and stop expecting other people to carry the whole load to carry the burden maybe this emperor is trying to carry the burdens himself so this could go in different ways but needs to find some balance Let go of some of them rods. Lighten up the load. Okay? Sharing the load. I said flexibility in the home, making it run. Needs to be some flexibility. Because right now, somebody's not happy. And it's with, this is not a happy couple right now. With the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. With the Ace of Cups reversed. This is not a happy union at the moment. Someone's not following their divine guidance. Okay. Perhaps this King of Cups is at his wit's end. Because he doesn't understand that he needs to be a little bit more flexible. There's a lack of hope, a lack of faith, a lack of trust. trying to be the leader but it's tumbling over it's backfiring okay um somebody's withholding their cup and i think it's the queen of swords he's holding his cup out this this cup is upside down it's like he's holding it out trying to hand it to her and she's just dumping it on the ground saying i don't want this okay there has to be some changes made Queen of Swords is here. She's somebody. She represents a divorced woman. She also represents somebody who is no nonsense. This Queen of Swords could also be taken on this Emperor energy. Just saying. Like I said, 
this could be this is very flexible this is a general way that could go in a different direction she might be the one dumping out the cups because she's pushing emotions aside and thinking logically she's stuck she's all in her head right now I feel like there is definitely there is a power struggle with three these three cards there is saying that there's a power struggle between the two and there's a lot of rigidness nobody bending okay this queen is this is a warning sign right here someone needs to bend a little bit because whoever the queen of swords is which is, whether it's you and maybe the other person is saying well they need to bend or if this is the other person in your life and you need to bend okay either you or somebody needs to bend a little bit and meet each other halfway because this queen of swords is, is in a place right now where she's making plans she has a vision new vision new course she's setting out on a new course there's her ships coming in she's put her plans there she's either sending her plans off <coughs> or something she's weighing on is coming in i'm feeling like she's sending her plans off she is sending her plans her ideas out into the universe she's making her plans for a new beginning to find her ten of cups she is not a happy queen right now if you are the male watching this or or, or the masculine in this relationship you have to understand your queen is not happy she's gonna fly the coop here real soon unless somebody bends and changes her maid So the underlying energy are new plans, new visions. Because there's somebody's not happy, somebody's tired of the power struggle. The queen and king need to share the load. There is no sharing. One or the other here is carrying all the burdens, all the responsibilities, and forcing it all on the other part, partner, which is not fair. In a straight line, there's a lot of trouble. A lot of it's like a heavy load, a heavy burden trying to make things work, trying to make this relationship work. The King of Cups, the Emperor is being the King of Cups is being very rigid, it's like almost, almost a stubbornness. But he needs to become unrigid and bend a little bit to get to that Ten of Cups. Both all, not saying that it's not impossible to reverse this, because these three cards touch each other. King, a queen, king, and the Ten of Cups, the happy home. No place like home. Both want the same thing. They want peace and happiness. But at the same time, there's the power struggle. Both people want to be the head of the household. Both want to have control. Someone has to bend a little bit. You can't have too many, there's a th too many chiefs and not enough Indians, okay? I'm not saying that the one should be completely over control of the other. But it's both sharing, both sharing in the decision making, bending, not being so rigid. This is this is also offering peace and healing, the peace peace offering. <coughs> and I feel like this King of Cups can very well come forth with a peace offering. The Queen, <coughs> I think she's not bending either. I don't think either party is bending. Either one of you is bending. But when this king bends, the queen has to bend also. 
have to be flexible, have to bend, have to meet each other halfway. Because like, like I said, quite frankly, this queen is already looking elsewhere. She's already in the process of making plans. Going on a new direction. Looking for that Ten of Cups, looking for that happy hunt. You want to keep your queen? You want to change her back to her Queen of Cups or whatever? Or Queen of Pentacles, the nurturing mom? She's somebody who's been scorned. So, how, however this resonates, she's mad, she's pissed, she's being rigid. He's being rigid too, because he thinks he's being treated unfairly as well. But there is definitely the power struggle. But both want the same thing, they want the happy home. So, two things have to happen. You both have to share the responsibilities. You can't put all the burdens on one person. And two, you both have to bend. Don't be so rigid. Be flexible. And that's what I have for you, and I thank you for watching.